Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 22nd, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. We'll start by looking at the NASDAQ, and as you can see, we had a horrible day in the NASDAQ today. We did rally up above the 50 moving average and then we just completely collapsed. We're down more roughly 2%, 1.97% at this current stage. And the main trigger for this is that uh, the US uh, chairman of Federal, Federal Reserve basically came out and said that in May there was going to be, uh, or was teasing basically, that there was going to be a, um, a huge rate hike, indicating that it will be 50 basis points and not 25 basis points. And, and yeah, that was kind of expected. Um, I do believe that even though we broke below the, uh, this candlestick here on, on Tuesday, um, I think that we are probably just going to see more choppiness uh, going forward. If we drop below the candlestick for the day, then we may go all the way down to 13.9. Uh, but it's kind of obvious that interest rates are going to be increased and uh, it is really obvious that uh, the 50 basis point is also going to be so that should have been cooked into the market a long time ago so this may just be a one-time uh, drop and due to the fact that it was 50 and we only fell two percent yeah we'll see basically what happens tomorrow um, if you look at MACD, it's still bearish. Stochastic is also bearish, and so is the RSI, and there's not a lot of room to the downside. If we rally above the 50 moving average, we may go heading towards the 200 moving average up here at 15.1. But um, at this current stage, the market does indicate bearish momentum. All technical indicators do indicate bearish momentum, and that we broke down today for 2% below the lows of a Tuesday session and that may well be an indication that we'll go um, heading back towards the, the very lows here. If we were to drop below um, the lows here uh, then we will most likely make um, another um, lower low. So it will look we did one here and we did one here and then we'll probably drop all the way down to roughly a 12k and we'll make another low there and therefore we will have uh, this channel where in the future we may see a rally up towards uh, um, the previous highs here which is roughly 13 so that is most likely what is going to happen if we break below uh, this uh, major support here so if you look at the s&p 500 we can see that um, we also fell here significantly. We did not fall as aggressively as uh, um, compared to the Nasdaq. We did not break the lows of Tuesday, and but we basically closed um, below the 50 moving average. And there's almost no um, buying occurring at the end of the session. This candlestick is basically full. If we drop below the Tuesday candlestick, we may head back towards the very bottom here of, uh, of uh, 4,100, give or take. And if we break above the 200 moving average, then we may see this market heading uh, heading for this uh, head and shoulder pattern and going higher. But at this current stage, technical indicators also for the S&P 500 are very negative. Bear momentum is definitely to the downside. MACD is negative, bearish, the stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. If you look at the Dow Jones, uh, similar here, we did rally all the way up towards the 35.4k um, and then dropped, heading towards the simple moving average here, right in the middle of the bullish band. And um, we have some way to go in the Dow Jones before um, before breaking down. We are still in within this range, so so we need to break below 30, uh, 34.1 in order to go back towards the lows. So breaking above this candlestick, and then we, we may see this head and shoulder pattern also for uh, the uh, Dow Jones. Otherwise, breaking below here has will head towards the uh, major support, roughly a 32.2, and breaking below that, well, that opens the door to a double, another um, lower low. 
and we will have additional channel here as we have seen for the Nasdaq and also for the S&P 500. So let's look at the DAX. So DAX did really well today. It actually broke above the 50 moving average, similar um, rally as we saw only a few weeks ago, but we are closing above the 50 moving average. And that's a really, really good sign for, uh, for the DAX. If you manage to break above this line here, which is roughly 14.9, uh, you know, then we may head towards the 200 moving average at 15.3. And breaking above that, then this market will go higher. Um, we need basically another candlestick here tomorrow in order to indicate that we are going to go and retest this. And this should be quite a lot of resistance in this uh, case. But breaking below this candlestick, which is roughly 13.8, that way we may see this market drop all the way down to the very bottom. So it has been, it has been difficult to say where basically the, the DAX is going. It has been trending within this range now and we may just go back towards this high and drop it back down. That may well be. Uh, but if we break above here, the 200 moving average comes into play. MACD has crossed the signal line, Stochastic is bullish and also the RSI is bullish. So let's look at the volatility index. And as you can see, we are still in this fairly tight range here of give or take 25.5 and the lows here roughly 22.5. And it's not until we basically break above here or break below here that we get a really indication where this is going. If you look at the, the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and so is RSI with a lot of room to the upside. If, you, if we scroll out for the volatility index, we can see that it is kind of making this pattern to the upside and and we may see a l in long term this volatility increase and this going even higher before going lower and just continuing like that that's kind of the pattern that we have been seeing um, and there are many things in the world economy that could be an explanation why we will see more uh, more volatility because the uncertainty is, for the world economy is is uh, is fairly big so interest rates are increasing everywhere around the world uh, inflation is a massive problem um co coronavirus is also a problem and slowing down of the world economy is another major major uh, contributor to the uncertainty um going forward so we most likely when considering all those factors we should see the volatility increase and that will have a negative effect on all of this stocks and also indices. If you look at the 10 year, it's only up two points. It's down to 2.18 at this current stage, even though uh, the announcement from uh, Chairman Powell, it is fairly overdone. It is very overstretched. We are overbought just at the moment. We are at the top of the bullish band. So pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly at, uh, round, do it out of back, back to the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly 2.7 before going higher would make much more sense. Similar move that we saw here going forward. So we get a fair flag pattern here and then going forward similar to what we basically saw here. Due, due to the fact basically we, we, we are very overstretched and not a good idea to buy it here, buying the dip, that works. And bringing below the 20 exponential, then the 50 moving average will most likely travel in this direction and we will most likely run into the 50 moving average around 2.5 and that should be major support. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much.